Filipinos have always been a freedom-loving people. Throughout our history, from the 1500s to 1898 to 1986, we have shown how much we value freedom. We have fought for and we are still fighting for freedom. Freedom from colonial rule, from oppression, from want, from ignorance. Freedom from structures that are abusive and exploitative and that kill the spirit. There is freedom in the sense of freedom from. This suggests freedom from things external to individuals that hinder them from doing the things that they choose to do. The fervent desire for this freedom can be illustrated by our actions as a people when we fought off what we have deemed as abusive or oppressive governments in the past. This is what our fight for independence in 1898 was all about. There is also, however, freedom in the sense of freedom for or freedom to. This suggests a deeper sense of freedom. This pertains to our freedom and ability as individuals to choose and to decide what we will do and what competencies or knowledge and skills we need to have in order to direct the course of our own lives. Here lies the importance of education. Here we see where education clearly meets freedom. Through education, we continue to expand the scope of our freedom as individuals and as a people. It is through the unenviable work of countless teachers and education workers that we have built and are building the software needed by this country to make it a nation and a state. A people with knowledge, skills, attitudes, and an animal, a spirit. In the 21st century, it is education that will propel us into a better future for all, especially those who are now poor and are marginalized. Through our 16 Lasallian educational institutions and partner schools spread out across the country, we continue to do the work with faith and zeal and in communion to bring quality and relevant education that is accessible even to our marginalized brethren. Yes, we all want to be free. Our Ministry of Education continues to be that means for empowering our nation to be the author of its own existence. It is our solemn duty as Filipinos to educate so that our countrymen can be free to chart their destiny and realize their most cherished and most noble ideals. We officially commemorate the 115th anniversary of our freedom as a people this year. But every day, we must work to protect and promote that cherished freedom. We Lasallians must carry on the struggle of our forefathers to fight all forms of abuse, exploitation, or untruth that kill the spirit. We will need to help form a citizenry that with knowledge and compassion can be responsible in the use of its freedom. The educational mission we pursue as a Lasallian family will be our expression of our love for our country. Even when we enable people with new knowledge and new skills, we should not forget to enkindle in them a desire for what is noble, a passion for all that is excellent in the Filipino spirit. Animo Lasal, isang mainit at mapagpalayang pagbati sa araw ng ating kalayaan.